welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new i hope you're having a wonderful day in today's video we are going to talk about third-party affidavits and i'm going to talk a little bit about what they are and we will also look at a sample third-party affidavit that i wrote based on the affidavits that were provided in our case so you're welcome to pause the video at any point and you're welcome to use my example for your case obviously uh you're going to have to change some information but you're welcome to use this as an example. So what is a third party affidavit? A third party affidavit is a written statement from a third party, meaning somebody other than the petitioner and the beneficiary. And it serves as an additional proof of your relationship. And most often third party affidavits are used as additional evidence in marriage related immigration applications especially if the couple is newly married and doesn't have a lot of other proof of relationship having a third party affidavit is absolutely not a requirement for your case it is an optional thing that you may provide like i said if your marriage is new and you don't have additional proof you can include as many as you would like from as many different people. However, if, for example, you have been married for many years and you have accumulated wealth together, you have proof of living together, splitting bills and stuff like that, obviously, um, third party affidavit in this case is not going to weigh as heavily as actual legal uh, documents that prove your uh, bona fide marriage. So who can write a third party affidavit? It can be anyone really. Uh, it can be a friend, uh, a family member, a co-worker, uh, someone who um, has a good idea of your guy's relationship. And so um, a third party affidavit can be written by anybody inside or outside of the United States. Obviously, it has to be either written in English or it has to be uh, properly translated and also notarized. Please keep in mind that you cannot translate your own evidence for USCIS and um, you obviously don't necessarily have to find uh, a certified translator, you just have to find uh, some kind of third party that can translate it for you and sign off uh, stating that they're proficient in English and under the penalty of perjury, they translated it to their best ability. So what does it mean to notarize the third party affidavit? Or really, what does it mean to notarize any kind of evidence for your immigration case? Well, uh, a notary public is a uh, government designated official. Usually it's a regular person who has a notary license that they obtain from their local government wherever they are located. And uh, basically a notary will authenticate the document that you are uh, notarizing, they will sign off on it. They will basically serve as an additional uh, proof of the document being real, uh, being written by you, being signed by you. If you don't know where to find a notary, uh, notaries, is, at least in the United States, exist in many places. Uh, a lot of them are available in public libraries. Some are available in uh, banks and there are also notaries available. I know for sure in UPS stores, uh, you may have to pay a small fee. In some cases, it's $5 per page. In some cases, um, it's $15, but it's never, never a super expensive amount. Okay, now let's look at an example third-party affidavit. Uh, first of all, uh, as you can see, you want to keep it to one page. Obviously, uh, do not uh, write too much. Keep it short and sweet. Basically, you have to stick to the facts of what you know and what you have witnessed as you can see right here, um, at the very top, you kind of have a title of the third party affidavit. And also the subject would be, you know, something along the lines of affidavit and support of petitioner and beneficiary, obviously outline who you're writing this for. Moving on, we have the main part of the third party affidavit. As you can see in our case, it was about three short paragraphs, a couple of sentences each. 
you may want to start your third party affidavit with saying to whom it may concern, or you may state it to the adjudicating officer, uh, very similar to what we did in the cover letter. If you have not seen the cover letter video for your USCIS file, I highly suggest that you check out that video. You want to include how you met the petitioner and beneficiary and also a short statement of when approximately or under what circumstances the petitioner and beneficiary uh, became a couple or became a, a spouses. You may want to include some kind of um, personal details about their relationship that you are personally aware of. For example, right here um, at the end of the second paragraph I included a few months ago, they have adopted a dog and I have been enjoying seeing their family photos together with their new puppy named Rooster. So you're talking about, you know, something personal from their lives, something that proves um, their relationship, again, being long term, uh, you know, mentioning the name of the dog in question, for example, is a really good detail to include in your overall impression of them being a real marriage, a long term marriage something like that. Uh, obviously, do not lie, especially do not lie about things that you personally don't know, especially because the petitioner and beneficiary may be asked questions about this affidavit at their green card interview. So you really want to be truthful, factual. As for the body of the um, actual third party affidavit, again, keep it short and sweet. Uh, you can write it as one big paragraph, but just for visual things, imagine if you were reviewing somebody's file, how uh, you would want to read it. You obviously don't want to sit there and read a huge essay or a book about these people's lives. Okay, um, as you can see a little bit lower, I have included a small statement basically saying, thank you for the opportunity to share this information. Please contact me at whatever phone number if you have any questions. Uh, it's always a good idea to offer the person to contact you if they are you know, concerned about the statements that you made or something like that. So finally, you would want to include some kind of sworn statement, uh, kind of like the one here, I swear under penalty of perjury, that the foregoing is true and correct to the best of my knowledge. At the very bottom, as you can see, you want to sign off on this affidavit. You would want to include the name of the person who wrote this affidavit, maybe their date of birth, uh, their address, contact information as well is uh, welcome uh, if you didn't include it earlier in the letter, and the date and obviously signature in pen and as you can see here this is a sample um, notary stamp or seal that they may include on your affidavit as somebody who's writing the third party affidavit you're allowed to ask questions this isn't really like a uh, quiz or a test you are allowed to ask the beneficiary and the petitioner some questions like how long have you been dating because these are things that you as a third party may not necessarily know but obviously if you are not aware of certain things um don't lie about those okay um so that was basically it third party affidavits are not difficult to write anyone can write it as many people as you want but one quick note is obviously don't submit like 10 different affidavits in our case we submitted two uh one from each side so you know one from beneficiary side one from petitioner side two to four i feel like is a really good idea so i hope you found this video useful let me know if you have any questions subscribe to my channel if you haven't already continue to stay safe and i will see you in my next videos